Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are uh, still. You're going to the bookstore, I believe, the library place to speak with the librarian about the books you've got. Watch those movies. Not all these people. It's a fun concept. I like it. And there's a little studious lady, no person, sitting at the desk. Her hair is red. In of course. The, in the ginger format. Uh, not like neon red or anything, but just a normal. A natural red. Natural red. Which is really weird seeing that on a gnome. Because gnomes don't normally do that. Gnomes normally have like crazy neon hairs. Can I have perception? Check At least mine do. <laughs> Hmm? For robot. Can I have perception check for the robots? Yes, you can. <coughs> oh my god, he rolled a 19. Do you have any bonuses to that? Do you have bonus to your perception? I do. I rolled 23. God! 23. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking okay. robots. You actually do see that there are some little... Fucking robots. Little robots. Little pocket-sized robots running around. Shuffling they're, books. They're about the size of dogs, almost. But, like, they have these uh, little ro robotic hands, and they grab books, and they put them on the shelf, right? And some of these shelves go really, really high. So there are these tracks attached to bookshelves, and it can, like, attach and kind of ride up to put the book up. And then zip back down. I don't know if you notice the matter. He's probably going to keep to himself and just allow his manners in this library. <laughs> they don't. They don't seem to have any like weaponry, like the. He, he just the has a pair of robots at this point. Okay, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, that's fair enough. Take advantage of what the dicks. How can I? Uh, and she kind of starts because there's two tieflings. Yeah. A half orc and a half elf. <laughs> um, Gentlemen, how can I help you today? What's going on? Are you, are, you, are you looking for a book? Actually, we have acquired some books that we would like deciphered. Yes. Do you have them with you? <coughs> I hand her a book. I hand her my two books. Okay. Obviously not. You know, just put them Maybe. And what are these again? So, 95%. Yes. Mine were 62%. 95. Both? I, I rolled, I, oh. I picked up two and you let me roll once. Okay. Roll, roll again. Serendipity? 95% yeah. genome books. Genome? I think they're biology related. 62. 92. So, 92 and 62. Good God. You right. dug yourself this time. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. She takes the books. And runs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you whore! She is this tall. <laughs> I need to know what happens to Harry Potter! <laughs> Does he live? Yeah. Is he really the boy who lives? She, she pulls... She, she, starts, she starts to flip through the books. <clears throat> and um, she is uh, just kind of reading. Her... her her face it doesn't really change much when she reads the 62% one. Um, the 92 one piques her interest. And then the 95 one is like she's she starts reading it and begins to realize what it is. And her eyes grow for a while. She starts flipping real fast through it. Um, Speed readers! Where, where did you find these? On oh, a bookshelf. <laughs> With other, other books. Actually below your city. In the underdark. A ways from here, but... Actually, it was off. I was off the way. So, yeah. I don't yeah, remember where we did it. It was a ways from here, but in the dark. In of the under. The dark under? Yes. Okay. Under where? Yes. This one, and she kind of picks up the uh, sixty-two percent, is a book that lays out the. Uh, it's 
kind of a ancient <laughs> ancient herbology kind of thing where it tells you it, it explains a lot of the plants of the Underdark and what their uses are and things of that nature. Now, obviously, it's written in gnomes, so you probably can't read it. No, I can't, no. Uh, I don't yeah, think I any can. of you can read it. You I can. can read gnome. <coughs> but, yeah. um, Which one was that one? The 62. Yeah. <coughs> Gardening book. Yes. Of Underdark. 92 is a book on firearms. Whoa. Interesting. What's a firearm? Well, here's here's the thing about that. <laughs> yeah. A flame on? That is not what the Dude, robots Rand has a repeating crossbow. I think we can understand the concept of firearms. Yeah. Ninety five the big you know the other one, which is even better or rarer, is a treatise on magic enhancing construct. I'm sorry, what? Max. Thank you. Big. It's a book about Max. I would like to read that. What about them? All kinds of shit. Just, just the how how they, they work, work, how to build them, etc. That's cetera. what I want to know. Now, wait, how to build them? So there's info in there just in case about how to take them apart, then, right? Mm hmm. Cool. Here's the thing. These are awesome books. And they're in, they're in ancient knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that they're in this good shape. Um, I will have to report this to Archdeacon because they are gnomish secrets. Uh, you can keep the herbology one, that's fine. That's pretty common knowledge. The other two, I, I guess I technically can't really stop you from leaving. Are these the walls? I will have to. Uh, it yeah. seems. Of sorts, yeah. Huh. <coughs> Absolutely, go ahead and tell the rest. He just says that. At least so that he knows that you have these books. Like, we have to let him know. Make sure he knows about that knowledge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you taking all the books with you? Or are you leaving oh, yeah. the two ones? Okay. No, they're sure. still ours. Yes, they're still ours. Cool. Would you be inclined to write a um, translations for these books? I can do that for you. It'll I'm aware of that. It'll take I'm not me a while. worried about you. Okay. I'm trying to build something with the people here. Um, All right. Uh, possibly. I'll have I guess, to consult. Yes, I guess the better question would be would you be able to give it to me? Right. I will. Uh, we'll have to consult with the archdeacon to see what the uh, what the board has to say about that. Okay. It's possible. It depends, I guess, on how you are, how you stand with them, well, or whether that. or not they trust you enough to. That leave, is fair. leave that information in your hands. Okay. I then give her my name. I tell her Stop to. Before, yeah. Because we're gonna, we're still gonna be doing this stuff. How, like, how quickly can you get your um, contact your archdeacon? Oh, I can send someone out now to go at least deliver it. Okay. And I wonder how long do you think it would take to get a response back? Depending upon how busy he is, it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to you know, 10 days. It just depends on what, what kind of what's going on. With this particular bit of, in, of info, though, I think it will be we get a reasonably fast response. And I'm dropping you for stuff that would be nice. Uh, Put it down. That's good. Do, 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 do. The older. I love that thing. It's freaking dope. Okay. Um, as far as the translating, that will take. If I get a team of scribes, that'll probably take. Because it's a good sized book, you know. Mm -hmm. In tr 
transcribing all the drawings and everything, draftsmen, it'll probably take a couple of months to get that finished. Assuming that it's even allowed. True. Okay. See if it's allowed. I'll return in an hour. And if it's so, I'll be willing to negotiate payment and return the book in mm -hmm. exchange for the translated copy to be delivered to my room at the Adventurer's Guild. Fair enough. You should send Oh yeah, I forgot we have a tower, which we can access um, at any time. <laughs> and the teleportation circle. Uh huh. Should probably do that. Yeah, I have it sent to my tower. <laughs> Our tower. It sounds more professional if I say my. <laughs> we get an office there. That no, sounds more asinine, but yeah. It does. <laughs> yeah, like I said, professional. <laughs> asinine and professional are very and different. And where Graytail is your tower, the tower, whatever. Yeah. Point I pointed out to her on the map. Let's just say that because I don't remember. Yeah, I don't either. I don't have tower of sorcery is your tower? Yes. The yes, one that, that used to belong to Merrick. Oh. Huh. Okay. Towers now. Yeah, we cool. Is the, <coughs> the teleportation circle still intact? We kept that tag, yes. Yep. Okay. Like I said, I will return in an hour. Hopefully, with a you'll have a response for me. She kind of calls over to one of the like little robot droids. things, little astromech droids, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, gives it some commands as far as going to find the archdeacon and giving this information. Uh, and then your only hope, sorry, uh, calls <laughs> another one to go into the restricted section. And find the uh, book that has the teleportation circle to the Tower Sorcery, which they have. That's, I'm sure they do. Uh, that's an old Merrick Tower, yeah. so mm -hmm. they'll have access to that. He <coughs> did a lot of work in Dan Rock in some of his earlier days. Okay, very cool. Very cool. So you have information on the books. One of them is herbology, which you have. Mm -hmm. uh, Not honestly too concerned about that one, so I'll leave right. that with them. One of them is firearms, and one of them is mech-related stuff. I will give I will give her the gardening book. Next month. Mech is your book, yes. yes. I will give her the gardening book in a show of history. Okay. Great. And she, she hands it off to one of the drawers. And it yeah, files it away, yes. And files it away. Let me note this all down. Uh, this is okay. Is that an hour? Hmm? Roughly. Come back, Come back in an hour. That it's leaves safe. us time to prepare more for what we're doing. I could. Yes, uh, it does. In, in our spare time, I could read on those notes and books and take notes on them, but nah. Yeah, you don't trust me. It's okay. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I don't need uh, two set two different notes. You don't need two different notes. I don't need two different sets of notes for the same book. Well, that's the thing. Is like you wouldn't have to bring the gnomes into it. You could just have your party member take notes and translate right. it for you slowly. But we're trying to build a rapport with the people of the city. Okay. That's fair. I and help you guys. Nope. That matter. Nah, you're fine. So is, yeah, fine. we're we're on our way. Is there anything else you would like to do in town? I have spent as much other as I can. Go right back when he goes back to the library. That's about okay. it. Uh, other than that, at the library, I would have asked about any beholder researchings they would have because I already know they were about to face a beholder. Hmm. That's actually fair. Should I roll? Do a serendipity uh, or a d twenty? Give me a. <laughs> Me. I guess the thing would be looking Arcana for check. specifically Arcana is check without or investigation die. if you have it. Yeah, Arcana is better. If, if you're going to search the library, you can. Well, if you're going to search the library, you can. I will allow either an Arcana check or 
Uh, investigation. Ten. Mm, okay. That's what's funny. Fucker. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. I am a hunter. So what's <laughs> yeah, your, what's you did. <clears throat> I rolled a natural twenty. Uh, plus six. I realized that. Twenty-six. So twenty-six. Okay. Twenty-six. Twenty-two. 22. Yes. You're avoiding the robot thing, so you're. He, he's just all freaked also, out. Also, 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 yeah, I rolled a 10. Yeah, he can't read the books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He got halfway through school. Yeah. 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 You saw okay. the letters S-C-O-R. Ah! Dude, he found the skin mags scorched. and he's just in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you find Mr. 26 and 22. Yeah. Uh, as you're kind of walking through, you do find information on beholders. Now, cool! Much of this is in gnome. Okay. So you might want to have Leah's read it. Now, hey! Now you get to hey, I get to take some notes. Okay. There are three known types of beholders. The undead. There's the regular. The spectator, which is like the little minion type. There's the standard beholder. That's which we all know and love. And then there's what they call the Death Tyrant. Death Tyrant is essentially an undead version of a standard beholder. It has more abilities. It's generally nastier. <laughs> it has ten stalks from which it shoots various types of rays. Now this is just like the standard beholder. Because once you once you get past the point of the three different ones, you focus on the standard beholder because that's what you know you're going to need. At least that's what yeah. is assumed. Well, so we're expecting. You crazy? We got there in this little one. That'd be very good. He's yeah. just kind of an asshole. <laughs> yeah. The, the, uh, the smaller ones have four tentacles from which they can shoot various rays. Essentially, it's like a weaker version of the standard. The uh, holder has ten, and the ten rays, they know a little bit. They know the anti-magic cone from the central eye. They know the, uh, of course it has a big nasty mouth that so can bite you. And... I damage the eye. I'd prefer that we didn't. It well, has well, rays fine. that do things, various things. There's a charm ray. There's a uh, give me. He's reading the book. He's give me a serendipity roll. That's like he's reading the book. I need to learn gnome, apparently. No, it's like the research scientific language. Seven. Seven. Huh. Okay. <laughs> huh. Or seven hundred. But yeah, seven. Great. I, All right. I don't have this. Hey, anymore. I keep getting close to 100. Okay. I just keep rolling like fives and sevens and threes. I've literally done that multiple times. That's true. All languages for me, not to have a Fair enough. All right. So you know from what, what they've discussed already that there's a petrification rate. There's a dis dis disintegration rate. Charm ray, a ray that slows you down. There's a ray that does necrotic damage, telekinesis. No, oh, kind of crazy shit. I'm super excited. <laughs> it's going to be one of bad bosses, isn't it? Beholders are fucking badass. No, the bosses where he doesn't care if he did stupid things or not. Oh yeah, that's a boss fight. This will be a boss fight, yes. That's pretty much the gist. They don't know everything about Beholder, obviously, but like you know that Because I rolled a seven. Yeah. Um you know that much at least. From the And there's nothing I can add to that that's worth a damn. Mm, nope. Mm. Smack. 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 Smack.
Calm down, man. Sorry. Anything else you want to do in the library? Let's find more Beholder stuff, maybe know something about its weaknesses, but... Kind of heavy on. Yep. Alright. There's not a lot on its weaknesses, because in all fairness, there's not a lot of people that face off with Beholders that... There's also away. not a lot of weaknesses to a Beholder in general. Giant this is true. Middle. This is true. Are you going to head out? No, we need to uh, resolve. go back go to back the bookstore. We resolve that issue. And so we wait an hour, or rather, you spend an hour in the library, looking up like beholder reading, stuff, you know, reading stuff about beholders, finding beholder things, and I'm like, reading, oh, I know gnome, info. but I can't fucking pay attention to shit because I'm drunk or something, I don't know. Yeah. Well, and I rolled uh, a seven. An hour passes, you go back up to the front desk, because you were kind of in the back of the library reading. Um, and she tells you that she hasn't, like, the droid hasn't even come back yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... We don't know yet. What I would do is go deal with the, this polar thing, and then maybe when you come back, we'll have more info. Is that really what she's going to throw at us? Yeah. That's fair. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous and insane. All right. <laughs> go, go deal with the small. Go deal with the beholder. It'll be fine. Come we'll back. We'll be hard. Here, 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 have some butterscotch candy. After we fine. prove ourselves to. She's them. like, she's. I'm fine with her idea. Let's roll. As her books are through the gate. Clock out the library. No more books. Alright. You know the general area of this cave. And <laughs> make your way into. I think we'll do a little bit of combat just to get started. Mm -hmm. In the area. Give me as as you approach the area where this cave is. Give me perception checks, everyone. Oh, are you stealthy? Yes. Please. Okay. Let's get stealth checks first. Not leading the way. Yep. As with Herc, not leading the way. Rand should be leading the way, but he's gone. Nineteen. Yep. <laughs> clink, clink, <laughs> clink, 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 clink. Yes. Are you doing pass without a trace? What's that? Gives you uh, plus ten to stealth checks. You and everyone within thirty feet of you. Oh. Do you have that spell as a ranger? No. Huh. Why? I thought that was your. Uh... Because I don't have access to it. Yeah, you do. It's a low level spell. It's a yeah. lower... because I've been. Oh. I don't have the spell. Oh, okay. Well, why? I didn't. Your That's cool. Now let's say no, no worries. Because that would have made this number more impressive. Yeah. Okay, what's your number? 25. Okay. Oh. Dope. Herc, are you not stealthing at all? Are you <laughs> He's all trying. Time? I tried, but clink, five. clink, 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 <laughs> clink, 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 clink. All right. Got it. You tried to this? 20. Okay. So you guys are like. Stealthily moving <laughs> down this corridor. Herc <laughs> Herc's in front and just like the flails are jostling. <laughs> you reach the outside of this cave, you see that there are like was discussed before, there's a number of different uh, corpses here around the outside of this cave. Two of them are petrified. Two of them are crispy, charred bodies. Crispy. You see some... Crispy, crispy. You see so some, one. like, <laughs> shadow, <laughs> like, shadow dust stuff, like, they would see at... They were disintegrated. Uh, nuclear blast kind of stuff. Uh -huh. Just, like... Disintegrated. Shadow. Disintegrated. Shadows. 
and there before you stands the cave entrance, which is 20 feet by 20 feet. Pretty good size opening. Can I take the time for traveling to fashion the malice to some arrows? Give me a dexterity check. Well, actually, how many are you trying to do? I mean, just one per arrow. I don't want to okay. five, so. So, I don't need five. Just huh. five. Five rolls? Five rolls. What was that one? It was a uh, dexterity. Dexterity. So 11. Okay. Uh, nine. 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 Nineteen. Okay. So you are tinkering with these, and um, you get four of them just fine. One of them, you're like, because like you're walking with everybody, trying to stealth, and one of them you don't. You like starting to uh, tie it and it, it, it slips out and crashes to the ground and the, the vial just so you have four you have four shots yeah. anybody else do any prep before you go in flexing <laughs> mm -hmm. puffing up my the, the fairy hair Okay. Long the time the wish brand uh, was you with us. Reporting? Uh, not yet. Okay, probably do that before we go into this. We're game. gonna, we're gonna, yeah. We'll be right back. Later. We're right back. Bye, PTO. Yeah, I got one more. No, we're.